An aircraft carrier is on a mission for months with about 5,000 sailors on board. It is very vulnerable and therefore there is a high probability of someone dying on board. The famous flight deck where planes take off and land is also used for funeral ceremonies when someone dies on board. What happens when someone dies in the middle of the sea and why is the burial carried out at sea and not on land? There is a standard procedure for a disposition at sea. Everyone attending the funeral must be appropriately dressed in the uniform of the day. The adjutant, also known as the officer of the deck, announces, all hands bury the dead to the members of the ship. If possible, the ship is brought to a stop. All colors of flags aboard the ship are then brought to half mast. The casket bearers, the firing party and the bugler come on deck and they are joined by other crew members. The casket bearers consist of six to eight crew members, depending on the combined weight of the deceased and the casket. The casket bearers will be on both sides of the coffin and line up in order of height. The deceased may or may not be qualified to have a burial at sea. For the dead to be buried at sea, the deceased must be a uniformed officer on active duty. The deceased can also be a retired Navy sailor or an honorably discharged veteran. Burials at sea have been a long-standing tradition of the Navy. It's been in existence almost as long as sailors have ventured into the seas. For the first burials at sea, the deceased was usually sewn into a sailcloth before the body would be sent overboard. There were also religious ceremonies, according to the faith of the deceased. Nowadays, the deceased is placed in a coffin. The ceremony can take many forms. The deceased might be sewn into a sailcloth the old-fashioned way, in a casket, in an urn, or their cremated remains might be spread in the sea. Sometimes the cremains of the body might be mixed to form a block. This concrete block is then dropped into the sea to form a man-made reef. The ceremony is conducted with military honors, including a rifle salute and the playing of taps. The exact details of the ceremony may vary depending on the individual's rank, service history and personal wishes. The process of